So we're gonna have uh, Lips and Tech doing a commentary over JDB's Fly the Far Away run. And whenever you guys are ready, you can count down from 10. And I wish you, you good luck and have fun. And I'll move myself. Oh, you guys are ready you can count down from 10 and i wish you, you uh, good luck and have fun well our campy is reconnecting real quick as soon as i excuse me our campy okay uh so you want me to count down ggb Alright, I guess that would be best. I'll just go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. So this first jump is a is a doozy. Um Yeah, um this screen is is just a masterpiece, uh me me the last jump. Oh my god, look at him go. Look at this insane gameplay. Well uh First try, wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I can't even commentate over There's so many jumps to explain. And this this jump is ridiculous. Um, this uh, insane, I should say. Oh my god. Insane. Insane. Oh, oh not insane enough. Um, so... I don't even know what to say about it. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with him, he's so fast. I'm just gonna say insane to everything, I guess. Uh, that long jump is, is annoying. You have to re-jump on the perfect frame. Yeah, there's a lot of frame perfect stuff. Pretty much everything in this is frame perfect. If there's a long jump that looks easy, it's probably frame perfect. His setup for that jump is so good. I don't know, if you stand in a certain spot for that uh, gate, uh, the double gate corner thing at the top, you just get through it. I, I, I don't know how it works, but he showed it to me and it works. JGB is a genius. The next room will be even more insane. Are there any skips? Um, uh, we'll get to that later. Hopefully. So yeah, th those two long jumps are really annoying, in my opinion. First jump. Um, the first jump is really weird. It's just bonk, and you get through the. The hard part, the first two diagonals, and then it's easy from there. I don't know what's up with that shuriken, dude. He's been having issues with that lately. Uh, uh, shuriken, uh, he gets to a certain spot and he one frames, and then it's a frame perfect jump fight from there. It, it, oh, why wouldn't it be? It's far, far away. <laughs> Second screen's being a, yeah, quite a, quite annoying here. It's not being insane enough. I keep having to look back at the stream because the RTMP lags. <laughs> oh. Easy nine jump. 
the way he does that for this first jump, it, it just looks so good to me. I had such a weird setup for it. Um, so the one jump I really want to talk about is the ledge here. Jumping off of this ledge and getting to that block is so freaking precise. Like, that is such a long jump. And... So just keep that in mind, like, how precise all this stuff is. Like, I don't, I, I don't know if a lot of people can even tell how hard this, this stuff is. This is one of the most insane needle games there is, really. Uh, I like how uh, he takes battle line for the sledge. Yeah, I, I don't know. It just works for him. That uh, shuriken is pretty neat. I really like this, this uh, that shuriken uh, below the last jump. And here's the infamous screen. Now this is. This is actually Necron water, which is really bad water. All your inputs are at frame late. And it's... Yeah. Really annoying. Yeah, uh, you have to get to the very tip of that first water to get to the next water. And then those water planes, I don't even want to talk about them. Uh, I, like, the fact that JGB can do them, like, pretty much 100% is ridiculous. Most people will be like one in four with them at most after a, after a ton of practice. And there's this water tower, which uh, kind of kind of speaks for itself. Just let them go. Oh man. And the insane jump, insane. And that's GG. That was a good run. That was really good. How many else was that? Twenty. Insane. So insane. Uh, JGB, do you want to show them your uh, your skip? Your insane skip. What was that time? Six minutes? What the hell? That is absolutely insane. 14 minutes underestimate. That is ridiculous, JGB. Oh my god. That, uh... That is actually insane. Is that a PB? I don't, I don't think it is. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I go three more times. Nice, five <laughs> seconds. Well, you got the time. Okay, now, uh, is this a special one? Okay, so uh, he's gonna do a pretty uh, cool thing. It's, uh, he does a uh, triple hopscotch, do a double bossy belux on a raft 4x4 four four animal style with a twist and, uh, you, using this, uh, it's it has about 300 frame per inputs. It's a really precise skip. He first tries it every time. It's insane. Easy every single time. Five second run, man. So, that went way faster <laughs> like, yeah, the commentary is behind because, yeah, I'm using the yeah, RPG thing that I, I can't. He has another game? Ooh! Okay, oh yeah, it is. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this. I, I only saw it for like five seconds before. And the visuals are different. 
I really don't know what's going on with this. more insane than me, but, um, I'm really bad at coming to carry on this five in the morning. I wish my commentary wasn't, like, a, a minute behind. I think there's something wrong with your guys' monitors. You might want to get that checked out. <laughs> that video went harder than Plus Far Away. Ignore the cursor. Amateur streamer. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing really else to do. That was an insane run, though. Yeah, it, it's... Ever since he came back to it, he's just been slaying it. Um, for instance, uh, Shadow Link fifty seven. He's a he's pr one of the best players in the community. He says that's the hardest needle game he's ever cleared, and JGB just did it in six minutes. It's absurd. Yeah. 